We drove more than 200 miles from Kampala to the little known Chafora hot springs, tucked deep in Tungamo district. But our visit to the fascinating tourist attraction was interrupted by the rugged terrain that got our car stuck. I was immediately impressed by the serenity of this countryside, which brought back memories of my childhood days. I volunteered to help this little girl carry her firewood to their home near the Chafora hot springs. We reached the hot springs and marveled at the steam raising from the bubbling water. This hot spring is believed to have curative powers. The heat raises to the earth's surface through volcanoes after coming in contact with molten rocks. The high temperature gradient within the molten rocks causes the water to be heated. We did not have a thermometer to take the accurate measurements, but locals said the water can get to about 70 degrees centigrade. It is actually so hot that we could not dare to wash our hands in here. Some visitors boil eggs in this water. The area has two hot springs adjacent to each other. This one is strictly for external illnesses where people from all walks of life come to be cured of various ailments. The patients have to bathe three times a day, in the morning, afternoon and evening. How they discovered that it was a hot spring, a healing center, some three people came with cancer. Big wounds, for them they thought it were, they were big wounds. And eventually, after I think so many years, one man's leg was cut off. So they realized it was cancer. But he stayed with it, going into this hot spring, and he eventually cured. He just died, uh, I think, because of natural death, old age. This second hot spring is for treating internal disorders. People come here to drink the hot water to cure their illnesses. These local people know how to handle themselves. There is some area they have demarcated for the very sick one. Those who have big wounds, they don't mix with those one who just come to, to bathe. The locals here say this spring has a lot of historical significance because the Ankole king used to visit, camp, and promote the culture. It used to help the king by then, Mugabe. He used to bathe from here. And he would come with other people, with the cows, and they stay for some days. And they even dance, and they would put dancing competition. For those who would win, he would just give them some awards. People here refer to this hot spring as a traditional referral center for illnesses, which cannot be treated by medical doctors. These mud and water houses are used as lodgings for patients in critical condition. They have to part with 500 shillings a night as rent. Local leaders say the hot spring has the potential of raking in millions of shillings from tourists if the road network is worked upon. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Chafora, in Tungamo District.